Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Chronicon. Uh, new new character. Oh shoot, this uses D-pad. I might use sticks, but can I can I use this? Ah shoot. Won't let me use my sticks to control. So there's that. Okay. Oh. Limesta's actually uh seen this before. Oh. Can, oh, do I have to... No, does it just not accept... It just doesn't accept my controller. Okay, I was wondering about that. So it just does not like my backup controller here. Will it accept this now that it's plugged in? Nope. What if it's controls? Nope. Okay, this is going to take one or two... One or two tries to get working fully. And then it crashes. Perfect. Hey, Skrillian. Or, Skrillin, how's it going? Like, can you can you close properly instead of just sitting there being like trying to solve the problem? It's like who cares? Uh, Spanky, I will be doing more. Uh, they're um, they're uh, they're coming out with a with DLC and some stuff like that. So I will probably be playing more uh, Holy Potatoes when that comes out. If I thought about playing Town of Salem with Roxy and Bird, probably I own it. I don't think they do. Uh, that said, I wouldn't mind playing it, so I might poke him into doing so at some point. Anyway. Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Chronicon. So, ooh, we've got a bunch of characters to play as. Can I play as... Okay, so we've got the, uh, Templar. Orlock. Ward. And Berserker. Yeah, let's go with Berserker. I always go for the big and meaty dudes. Okay, and we're gonna name this guy Grognar, of course. Uh, let's see. It's a shame it makes me use the D-pad here. Maybe, maybe it won't. Uh, let's see. So let's do, let's do normal, and enter world. So I, I know next to nothing. Oh, hey, it's actually letting me use the sticks. Good. Welcome, champion. Good to see you. I look very angry at all times. Equipment of potions, master of trials. I think I need to talk to him. Activated the fallen temple waypoint. Temple of Life was once of the greatest temples in existence. It was dedicated. To Avila, goddess of life, and her devout servants, lived within the great walls. People, can I can I make him go faster? Talk faster. People come from faraway lands to make offerings of food, poetry, and gold. In return for a healthy and long life. Soon, however, people who made offerings would soon fare ill. They thought they had somehow angered or wronged the goddess, so High Priestess Medella went into deep prayer to consult her. Everything. Okay, let's just leave. Broken device. Fallen temple. Activated the waypoint. Fallen temple. Okay, there we go. Our minds and bodies to walk the servant dormitory. Yep, yuck, 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 don't care. I'm Grognar, I hit things. Okay. So I punch. I punch with a right bumper of all things. That's bizarre. Ghouls regenerate. Okay, so I'm getting a very, very solid. Oh. Oh, it's a twin stick shooter. Of all things. This is a twin stick Diablo like. I'm okay with that, actually. So effectively. I aim with the right with the right trigger and I pick up with the with well and I attack with the shoulder button. This is cool. I like this. Looks like Wizard's Lizard. Honestly, it reminds me more of oh shoot, what was the what was the game? There was a game I played recently uh, with the crew and it didn't work right. And for the life of me, I can't remember what it was called. Oh, I've got a oh, I've got like a charge move. Oh, it's like a dodge roll. That's cool. Ah, I can't remember. But yeah, this is so this is a sprite-based dungeon crawler. Uh not unlike Diablo or Torchlight, probably. I'm okay with that actually. That that is this is a genre that doesn't get um touched very often anymore. Especially in like new ways, and I feel like this is gonna be closer. Can I Okay. So the dodge rolls the dodge rolls, they they are not They're not um Offensive based. Okay, that makes sense. And it suddenly makes sense why why the character would be. How do I? Oh, that's that's how you use healing potions. What even hit me? Oh, there's a spike trap on the ground. Man, I would not have been able to see that. So I don't think I will be continuing with the barbarian for a little while. He's not a bad character. He probably does a lot of damage, but he's got garbage reach and stuff like that. Um, but no, I'm digging the gameplay. It's it's simple, but it works. I wish the music was a little bit more. I don't know, music-y? Oh, that's not the end of the world. Here's a question. Nope. 
cannot destroy pots pots with uh, the roll and stuff like that. What other rookie games, new games am I going to play? Uh, unfortunately, currently my list is currently obscured, and I think alt-tabbing ruins the game, so I will tell you after we're done with this one. However, there is a slew. There are so many other ones. Uh, some more rookie than others, some more YouTube baity than others, but I'm okay with that too. Okay, what do we got here? So, I'm digging this. This is, this, oh, ow. Oh, he's a guard lieutenant. Go figure. Okay, looks like there's randomly generated loot and equipment and stuff. That makes sense. I'm kind of hoping you can almost transfer equipment between characters. I wonder, I know this game has local multiplayer. I kind of hope they actually end up adding online. Because I would totally play this with, like, uh, with, with the crew. Okay, just a bunch of ghouls. I do wish that I could attack and move at the same time, though. For, like, hit and runs and stuff. Because current, can I, oh, hey, I can just hold it down. So I don't actually have to, I don't actually have to keep, um, just pressing the buttons. Might not be a bad idea to actually equip some of this equipment I've got here, so I'm not just beating things to death with my fists. As much as I'm enjoying beating the shit out of things. Hey, we leveled up. That is that is a good impetus for doing so. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, warden item. Leather armor. Cannot wear that. Oh, it's warden item. Warlock item. Warden. Uh, fighter cap. How do I equip? Oh, they're the same thing. Okay. Sword is a Templar item. Heart of the supporter. Unique accessory. Increases health. By four, 13% uh, increased amount of crystals found. Experience gained from all sources. Thanks for being awesome. Oh, you get that for pre-ordering the game. Okay, we get a scroll of return, minor mana potion, healing. Okay. So, Wrath. Strike enemies in front of you for extra damage. Knock back. Fist of Fury, strike. Okay. Ooh. I like that one, or passive. Bloodlust. Eh, let's go for Fist of Fury first. That sounds fun. How many skill points do I have? I got two? Works for me. Okay, so I've, I've got a passive and I've got a not passive. Oh, is Fist of Fury just my regular attack? I think so. It is absolutely fisting time. Let's go beat the shit out of people. How do I how do I Fist of Fury? Do I need to I need to equip that shit? Okay, well I guess it's not quite turbo fisting time. We're we're getting there. We're close. Yeah, because this isn't costing me a single bit of mana. At least I like the bloodlust ability though. That works that works great for this character. Especially for the amount of just, like, beating I'm going to be doing on things. Okay, so let's let's figure out how to equip that skill. Oh, bind. Uh, we'll bind that to X. Okay. So if I do X, I can... I can potentially attack with X really fast? I'm hoping so. Oh, good night, Limesta. Have a good one. Okay, so let's see, what else do we get around here? I, yeah, I, I do wish at the very least I could slowly walk in a direction. Ooh! That's some fisting. Oh, we are dying. Oh, we, that was very close to death. Okay. Oh, shit, that's why we're dying. We're standing directly on top of a trap. Go figure we're dying so hard. Oh, we're out of, we're out of, we're out of juice, so I can't do that anymore. Okay. Well, I've learned my lesson on that one. Okay, let's pick up, ooh, that looks like some armor for me. Okay, and that's that's what the uh, that's what the roll is for. I do wish the traps were a little bit more obvious, and or the the noise they put put out was a little bit more obvious. I don't know. All right, uh, have fun lurking, t Tiger Fist. Okay, let's just heal up. We're feeling a little bit under the weather. Let's see. Yeah, no, I'm digging this game. It seems like it has a lot of potential. Uh, the gameplay is fairly deep. The movement is awkward. I, I think it's because the game is so slow and methodical that it, it doesn't feel right to me. Like, I'm so used to... Oh, thief. Oh, did I just summon a boss? I did. Okay. Let's see how much damage he does. I don't know what that portal behind me is. Oh, fuck. That hurt. I'm just gonna beat him as much as possible. I've got a lot of mana potions. And I don't really have a whole lot of compunction against using them. Just, just beatings will continue. Okay, time to time to leave. Okay, at least Glad the Greedy is almost dead. There we go. Oh shit! Uh, spawned entry. I mean, we're right there. So apparently, when that guy died, he uh, he was uh, violent, uh, severely violent. Oh, hey, it's some equipment I missed. A uh, what? Why am I at zero? Zero HP? Well, that's concerning. We're playing Werewolf Dungeon. 
Maybe. Ah, let's see. So that gives us a lot of crystals. That kind of makes up for the fact that we just got done deaded by something. I'm worried that my HP is just going to be stuck at zero because of a bug, though. It feels like it. Uh, that's not good. Okay, can I can I check my equipment? No. Okay. So it's just not displaying my HP. Oh, those are traps. Okay, so it's just not displaying my HP. We're still we're still we're still hailing Hardy. I just do not know how close I am to death. So I'm just going to use potions periodically and we might end up going back to town or something like that. I'm running out of potions here. Oh well, not the end of the world. I should be able to just beat this guy to death. Oh, I'm out of magic. Go figure. Go, go, Grognar. So he does not retaliate us and we get plenty of magic. Oh, that's not what I want to do. That's also not what I want to do. Oh, right. Oh, this is just the, the direction I'm pointing the stick in. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we would get bow and arrow, which is not very useful to us, and we still can't use our menu. So I'm pretty much unable to pick anything up. Okay, in that case, let's go let's go back to um let's go back to town. This class seems kinda bad to you. Yeah, possibly. I like I like the gameplay. Uh I'd like to see everybody else. I think really I wish he did like players too far away. Ah shit. Well, let's do save and exit. Okay, single player. Let's try a new character. Uh, let's try somebody ranged. Let's try. Let's try Warlock. Warlock seems like it would be kind of fun. We're going to call him. Um, we're going to call him. Um. Burgunder. We're going to call him. We're going to call him Jazzy. Okay, and we're going to be... Let's see, champions quite rare, not very powerful, many champions. Veteran. Oh. Increased magic finding luck, experience points, and crystals. Okay, so the higher level, you get better re rewards. We're going to just stay on normal. Okay. Oh, jeez. It takes him a while to cast that. And he's going to teleport, too. Let's just go to the Fallen Temple. Okay, so it seems like the world is mildly persistent. That's kind of cool. Oh, and skill points are available. Okay, so we've got Skull Blast, Fire Bomb, or Vampirism. Eh, let's go with Fire Bomb and see. Seems like fun. Oh, shoot. Do I, do I need to talk to you? I need to talk to you. Okay, well, we've, we've activated him, so let's go take a look at this. So, I want to say that a Shadow Panda Gaming... I want to say that the biggest problem we're going to run into with this character, or all characters in this game, is that the, the gameplay is very methodical and not very fast-paced. Which I can see is a good way to, like, force the players to consider their actions. But at the same time, as somebody that's played the crap out of, like, Path of Exile, Diablo, Torchlight, mostly Torchlight, the concept of slow not being able to move while attacking, I guess kind of makes sense within that context, but within, like, a twin-stick type game. It feels weird and wrong. But maybe that's my fault for playing with a control scheme they didn't originally intend for. Because it's very obvious this game was built with, uh, you know, keyboard and mouse in mind. Which isn't the end of the world. Okay. Whoop, that's not the wrong skill. I forgot to buy and fireball. Okay. So, I dig it, but the the way things work, it just feels weird. And like, I do damage, but I don't I don't do much. Yeah. So I can't. If I could shoot and move, that would be great. Like just holding the stick in a direction would let me shoot that way, and then we'd be like a lot faster. I think that would make a lot more sense than what we've currently got. Let's see. Don't forget to bind firebomb. You're right. Nothing can take you off your path. So, I'm definitely going to say I like melee a little bit better than this. Oh, really? So this isn't twin stick. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. There's certain degrees that I can't aim in. Specifically, 
anywhere between zero and about 60 degrees on the character. So I can aim there, and I can aim there. I can't aim at any other angles. Oh. No. I'm wrong. It's not that I can't. It's that there's an enemy there. This game actually auto-locks on for you. That's actually pretty good. I like that. That is, a ni that is a nice feature. That means there's a lot less effort that needs to be put into, like, where you're attacking. So as long as you've got, like, enemies around, you should be good. Yeah, you just kind of have to reprioritize them, and then you can focus on on which direction you're shooting. Okay, that that is a good feature. I was cranky about this at first, but no, no, the, this actually was very intentional and very smart of them to do. Okay, props to the dev for that. Oh, he's just regenerating. Kill streak. You get a kill streak apparently. Actually, can I use my? Yeah, I can use my AOEs to take him out. Perfect. But no, like I like this game despite its couple of foibles. Really, just the the pacing of it feels very slow. And I, I feel like if I could, uh, if everything was just a little bit faster, and, um, you know, I could, I could move while attacking as opposed to, like, slight shuffle step and then continue on my way. Is there really a reason for me to take out most of these? Yeah, there is. That's how you get the, all the potions. Is there a shopkeeper in this game? Yes. There is. He's back in town. We can go visit him if we want to. The thing is... This time, I'm going to avoid kind of the whole death thing. Oh, uh, we won't run into that bug. Okay, there we go. We've leveled up. Now, it's probably not a good time for me to level up, though. Okay, so let's see. Let's do vampirism. Okay, and I don't know how much cash I have, but let's, let's just go back. Let's see what the shopkeeper has. Okay, back to the Chronicon. Uh, so we've got equipment and potions. What does he sell? Is this... This is his stock? This is what I have on? Okay, so yeah, we can buy a bunch of minor healing potions. Oh, the crystals are the basic... Uh, basic thing. So yeah, there... There is a shopkeeper. I'm digging that. Might as well sell all the Templar stuff. And we've got the Heart of the Supporter, so anybody... Oh, no, anybody that pretty much pre-ordered or kickstarted them. But since I'm... I'm, a uh, I'm a cheesy little person. Let's talk to the tinker. Your odor is distracting. Smelly. Thank you. Um, be, because I got a pre-release copy, uh, pre-release press copy, I get the bonus item too. That's nice. Oh, interesting. So I've put this guy in casual mode. You, so you can switch the difficulty whenever you want. That is a nice feature. Okay, so let's take... Oh, shit, yeah. Our inventory is full. At least we got teleported right back to town so I can kind of manage these things as they will. I don't see a communal ch Oh, no, that is not a communal chest. I was kind of hoping there would be a communal chest so I could pass items between characters, but it doesn't look like that's a feature. Okay, so let's keep selling stuff. Warden item. Warlock item. Warden. Hat. Oh, that actually was for me. I really wish the, uh, everything was color co coordinated or something. I honestly cannot tell which which ones of the armors are for me or not. I guess it's a little bit more obvious than, than that, but still. Okay, so let's see. Can you... Options. Drop, equip, cancel. How do I tell what's better than mine? We've got Grognar's Punchers. Fighter. Okay. Oh, it, it, it will tell you the stats down in the bottom. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so let's just sell the last of everything. We don't have... We don't need arrows. Okay, should be good. Can I get a, a weapon for this character? Or are we just literally punching everything? Oh, you know what? It's a fist weapon. So, there is no... There is no equipment here for me. Okay, that makes sense. Let's get on out of here. They're super ultra hard mode, or whatever it is. Sure, why not? Single player, load character. Grognar, Berserker, we're going to be on Legendary. Extremely difficult. A well-equipped character and skilled player. Enemies are strong, champions are abundant. I'm going to die, but that's okay. Because I'm just, I'm just interested in seeing what happens. Because, yeah, so far I'm actually pretty impressed with this game. I think I'd have 
more fun if I was playing it with, with somebody else. I think playing it solo is going to be, I mean, entertaining enough. Like, if you like the Diablo games and you don't mind playing them solo, I think this is going to be entertaining. I'm going to quick check to see if it's, um... Well, I, I should quick check. Okay, oh, fuck. Yeah, we are not killing these things. We are quite dead. Spawn of the Chronicon. Yeah, they, they do twice as much damage as I... As Twice as much damage as I do. So there's that. Oh, see you, Skrillin. Um, but, no. If, if you like the Diablo games, I think you'd probably enjoy this one. Now let's see if I can alt-tab while I'm running the game. Uh, is it still running? Hey, it's still running, so, so we can actually see the game. So let's quickly look. I want to see if Chronicon is going to be local only, or if it's going to have online multiplayer. I hope it has online multiplayer. But I do not know. Okay. Let's see. Nope, and now we're going to be listening to the trailer. Gamepad support optional. Warlock. Four players local co-op. Okay. Yeah, so this this game is currently not going to have online multiplayer. Uh, which, as far as I'm concerned, is actually a bit of a detractor. Just because I think this would be a lot more fun directly with friends. And for me, as somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of local friends... Uh, that does kind of suck. That said, uh, can I move the minimap? No, nope, can't. All right, so it's always just going to directly in front of me. Um, but, no, I dig this game, and I will probably revisit this, not immediately, unless people really want me to. Uh, but I will definitely revisit this when I have uh, a room full of people to play with. Because I could totally see a full series dungeon crawl in this game uh, being really entertaining. Okay, so with that, I will uh, I will see you guys on the next episode of uh, of Chronicon, and as always, punch everything.